Hey y'all, Bunkle here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope every day is a great one for you. And if it's not great, it will get better. That's definite. What I'm going to be doing in this video is opening four more packs of these 1981 Donruss that I found in a box that was wrapped up in my garage that I picked up from, I don't know, garage sale, yard sale, flea market, whatever it was. I have no idea how long ago. I'll post the link to that video of the box opening down below. But anyway, without any further hesitation, as I said, these are 1981 Donruss. Now, they do have a stick of gum. So we could kind of expect, and from what I've uh, seen in other openings of packs that are this old, and I'm not sure exactly how much these have been through. Again, if I don't remember where I got them, I have no idea what their life was before they were stuck in my garage. Um, what I've seen with these so far is the gum is going to be really horribly stuck to a card. And the wax stain is going to be very, very bad. Now, 81 Donra is just kind of similar to Fleer. Was known for absolutely atrocious, horrible, disgusting um centering so we could definitely expect to see the cards off center skewed uh, i've seen them cut semi-diagonally it, it appears so i i get ready for anything collation or sorting of these cards into packs was also really bad i don't know if they used the sheet method um or what so i've seen packs that are almost entirely one team or multiples of the same player and i do remember that back from uh 81 and 82 as well as uh 83 uh where you would find duplicates inside packs uh it continued i i've seen packs of uh 89 and 90 upper deck that the same thing has happened uh either way so we do hear the stick of the gum to the wax that's definite i do have some frappers ready uh there's lots of good cards to find in here of course, the key card to this uh, to this set, if you're looking at PSA 10 values, would be Ricky Henderson. Um, however, just about any Hall of Famer um, also has some good value in it. It's, it's nice to go through them and see. Baseball was a much different game then than it is now. I mean, sure, the rules are more or less the same or were more or less the same. But it was definitely a bit rougher of a sport and... Uh, Actually, we see the gums stuck to uh, who at one who at one time would would have been known as a kind of a roughneck manager uh, who managed different teams, Dallas Green, and uh, some of the players that came out of his teams ended up becoming uh, pretty roughneck type management type personalities as well. So that's our nasty gum stain card, and our wax is not that bad. So I'm just going to go through that. All right, so we got Lonnie Smith. Gary Maddox, Greg the Bull Luzinski. All right, and another Dallas Green, <laughs> and another Lonnie Smith, and another Gary Maddox, and another Craig Luzinski, and another Dallas Green, and another Lonnie Smith, and another Gary Maddox. Got a nice Yaz, and that's actually very nicely centered for 81. That's really a nice card. I'm going to frapper that one up. That one can go up on the Wall of Fame for now. It's always good to find a Yaz. Uh, I mean, he was not exactly one of my favorites growing up, uh, being that he was Boston Red Sox and kind of the face of the Red Sox. We got John Tamargo, Freddie Lynn, great player, not a Hall of Famer, but absolute fantastic player, Mike Torres. Dwight Evans, Rick Burleson, and Bob Stanley. Okay, so not a bad first pack. Got a Yaz out of it. And again, pretty nicely centered, I'd say. If they all come out that well centered, I'd be very, very surprised. And okay, looks like we have another Yastrzemski. Although this one's going to have a nasty little wax stain on the front. Yeah, that's going to be a funky wax stain. I'll keep that one on the side, maybe try to polish that off or something. And our back card that has this really bad, crusty, moldy gum attached to it is Fred Norman. So, bye-bye Fred Norman. 
it was not as well nice knowing you. Okay, we got John Tamargo, just like the other pack. Freddie Lynn, Mike Torres, Dwight Evans, Rick Burleson, Bob Stanley again, Scott Sanderson, Stan Bahansen, Expos pitcher, Dick Drago, Jim Rice, that's a great card, perennial all-star, big-time hitter with the Red Sox, absolutely hated him against my Yanks, Tony Perez, Steve Rogers, Warren Cromarty, Wynn Remerswell, and uh, that's another one, that's interesting, I had no idea, oh, and Gary Carter, that's great also. So, yeah, that, that's pretty odd. I didn't know that there were two different Yaz cards in this set. Interesting. Very interesting. I had no idea. But that's pretty cool to see. All right, so we got three Yazes. I'm not going to put that one up because that's the one with the wax stain. I may get back to that one later. But that's actually really cool. going to be the Yaz Wall of Fame. I'm getting a little bit nauseated. <laughs> Gary Carter there with the Expos. It's his uh, fourth year card. His rookie, of course, was the 77. Or was it the 75? Either way, not that far into his career before he hit the Metsies. And we got the Jim Rice. I'm going to keep the Jim Rice on the side. He's not exactly Wall of Fame worthy. He's a great player, but... Uh, I don't know how, how well he's going to be remembered down the road. I'm sure that if you compare his numbers to some other players' numbers, uh, in some cases he'd be better. In other, play, in other cases, maybe not as much. All right, we got that gum stickage to that wax again. And let's get rid of that bottom card because that gum is not coming off. That's on there nice and solid to a Tony Perez. Oh, well, goodbye, Tony Perez. And the wax winner is Win Remerswal. And we got another Yaz. All right, so got three packs with Yaz's and a Gary Carter again. Now, this Gary Carter is a bit more off-center than the other one. Fred Norman, Eckersley. Ooh, Hall of Fame pack, Dawson. Another Yaz, John Tamargo, Freddie Lynn, Mike Torres, Dwight Evans, Burleson, Bob Stanley, Scott Sanderson, Stan Behansen, Dick Drago, and another Jim Rice. So the wall is definitely lining up really nice right now. Yeah, the Carter was the 75 rookie. The Dawson was 77. Okay, so we got another Yaz over there. Get a few more frappers out of the bag here. No, that was not a, a paid promo for Ultra Pro Sleeves. They don't pay me. I pay them. And Lord knows I'm going through a lot of sleeves lately. All right, that's the Eckersley card. Nice card there, too. And that's actually pretty nicely centered. Although I'm sure the PSA values are not as high on Eckersley as they would be on some of the others. The Ricky Henderson is a really tough one to find well-centered. Uh... I found a couple of those in other pack opening videos that I have uh, up here on the tube on my channel. And uh, the, the centering is definitely not all that good. Definitely not worthy of a PSA 10, that's for sure. Now, I will say uh, I definitely want to thank you for subscribing, commenting, watching this video, giving the thumbs up, all of that great stuff. Those of you who hit the bell, I definitely appreciate that. Taking a sip of my seltzer here while I pop this. So it's a little bit dry. It was kind of a dry day. Um, it's been a bit dry. We did have some rain this week. Um, but a little bit of a droughtish type situation going on up here in the Northeast from what they're saying. Didn't get enough rain during the summer. And uh, so, of course, allergens and allergy seasons, again, weigh upon us. Okay, Rick Miller has got the gum, and Greg the Bull has got the wax. That's a really 
interesting picture of Greg Luzinski. I don't know if he's got Chaw in there or what, but keep him on the side. Dickie Thon, Floyd Bannister, Rodney Craig. Another Greg Luzinski to replace the first one. Dallas Green, Lonnie Smith, Gary Maddox, Greg Luzinski again. Dallas Green again. Lonnie Smith again, Gary Maddox, Greg Luzinski. If you didn't see enough of those, oh, there you go. There's, what, what, four Luzinskis in the same pack? One, two, three, four. If you haven't seen enough of Greg Luzinski, well, you'll definitely see enough of him in this pack. One, two, three, four of them in the same pack. Now, you'd, of course, wonder if these were reopened, repacked, or something like that down the, down the road. I really don't believe so, again. Looking at the Wall of Fame over there, I don't believe that they have been, again, in different packs from the same uh, box that I that I had. Um, I've pulled Rickies out of them. I've pulled other major superstars out of them. And, again, this opening, uh, not that bad for a four-pack Wall of Fame. Anyway, I hope you all stay well. I hope you definitely enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed going through these cards. Uh Great memories going through these cards uh, when I was an early-ish teenager when they first came out. I was really excited to go through the Donruss. Uh, we only had Tops before that, and then we had Tops, Fleer, and Donruss all at the same time. So it was definitely a, a good time as far as collecting. Look at that. The Dawson's got some sh major shine from my light over there on the side. I just noticed that. Y'all could see on camera better than I can. Anyway, as I was saying, hope y'all have a great one, and I'll catch you again soon. Bunkle out. Stay blessed.